Hey YouTube, Ed here with Jack of All Trades and welcome to another video. So what we're going to do today is we are going to install, review and test the Rave 140 drop-in AR trigger from Rise Armament. Uh, Rise Armament did not send me this trigger, I went and I bought it with my own money. We're going to drop it into my 223 Wild Coyote rifle and we're going to see if it makes any noticeable improvements as to the trigger and functionality of this rifle. So without further ado, let's continue on with the video and let's try out the Rave 140 trigger. Just a little quick note for the folks at YouTube, this trigger should not in any way, shape, or form uh, not comply with your rules. It is not what is considered a hair trigger. This is just a drop-in trigger assembly. It's The rifle I'm putting it in was a kit. I had to assemble it myself anyway, so I'm basically just going to remove the parts that came with the kit and I'm going to use the drop-in trigger. This should in no way... Uh, not comply with your rules and guidelines policy. It is not a hair trigger. It is not a forced reset trigger It's not an illegal trigger and it's not a modification of the rifle in any way shape or form So before we get into this trigger, please uh, if you're liking this channel and you're liking this kind of content Hit that like and subscribe button down below uh, Less than 60% of the people who watch these YouTube videos actually subscribe and the subscriptions and the comments and the thumbs ups really do make a difference in supporting the channel. I never ask for money. I don't have a Patreon account. I just ask for your support by hitting that like and subscribe button. I upload a new video every week, Saturday, 8 o'clock in the morning without fail. So you can watch these videos while you're having your morning cup of coffee. You can take 15, 20 minutes and just support the channel. I would really appreciate it. All right, so let's talk a little bit about the Rave 140 trigger. Now, I've been eyeballing this at my local retailer here in town for quite a while. I, I run pretty much nothing but mil-spec triggers. I have never done a drop-in trigger in any of my ARs. And typically, that's because I can get my AR triggers pretty, pretty nice uh, just polishing up the mil-spec trigger. But I've always wanted to try a drop-in, but I really hesitated with the $200 to $300 price tag that you get with some of those drop-in triggers. So... I'm going to give the Rave a try. So let's talk about some of the features as advertised on the Rise Armament website. Uh, it says a smooth, crisp break with a short, and they call it a quick click reset. That's a, apparently a, a trademarked name. That's something that they, uh, they have trademarked. And so it's basically a good, crisp break with a reset that you can really, really feel. Now, I don't have any problem feeling resets on my mil spec triggers, but perhaps with drop ins. The resets are a little tough to feel. I don't know. We're going to see how this one stacks out. Uh, you can get this trigger in either a curved or a flat trigger. I, I hate flat triggers. I've shot a few flat triggers from um, ARs of my friends, and I just really don't like the feel, so I'm, I am going to go with a curved trigger pretty much every time. Uh, it's supposed to have about a 3.5 pound pull. I will put the pull gauge on it. We'll test it. Uh, there's supposed to be almost no take-up. According to the website, they're saying that the take-up on the trigger is 0 .04 inches. Essentially what that means is when you start squeezing the trigger, you're immediately engaging the sear, which should give you a nice, positive, crisp, clean break. This is a single-stage trigger. This is not a two-stage. Uh, again, that was on purpose on my part. I'm not a big fan of two-stage triggers. Just never really have liked them. Even though most of the mil specs are somewhat of a two-stage trigger, uh, that's that's designed for safety's sake in the military, as well as the 7 to 11 pound trigger pull that they put on those mil spec triggers. Again, in the military, that's a safety thing. They don't want you squeezing the trigger when you're not supposed to. Uh, interior parts on this are uh, made out of S7 tool steel, so it should be fairly heavy duty. It's all contained in a, in a 6061 anodized aluminum housing, so this should be a fairly durable unit. I have actually had it out of the package and I've played with the hammer. It feels like the hammer's got plenty of spring tension to actually uh, engage the firing pin correctly and fire the rounds. We will see how that works. Uh, everything is supposed to be precision machined and it's supposed to be handcrafted tuning. Uh, I've never seen them build these things, so I have to kind of take their word for it. Uh, each one they claim is individually inspected, so I am hoping that the quality control is uh, very high on this. 
It does in the kit include free anti-walking pins. Now, a lot of times I know when you buy drop-in triggers, you have to buy the anti-walk pins separately. Uh, this trigger does come with them. They're in the little bottom section of the bubble here. So that is kind of a nice option. Uh, and like I said, as I understand it, many drop-in triggers don't come with those anti-walk pins. It also comes with a lifetime warranty on it, which is something I always kind of appreciate when, when a manufacturer comes up with something like a lifetime warranty or more warranty than what others do. And they actually have a 30-day risk-free guarantee where you can buy this, put it in your rifle, try it for 30 days, and if you don't like it, supposedly they're going to take it back. So all good things so far coming out of the coming right out of the store with it, not having it installed it and tried it, I, I'm, I'm optimistic and I hopefully it, hopefully it works well. All right, so let's first off, let's go ahead and let's test the trigger on the rifle as it sits. Now, this is just your basic garden variety uh, uh, trigger, mil spec trigger group. But the first thing we're obviously going to do is we're going to verify that the firearm is empty. I have no magazine in here. The chamber is clear. We are dealing with an empty firearm. Make sure you double check that anytime you're doing this test. So I have got my Lyman trigger pull gauge here. I'm going to clear it, set it to ready. Place the uh, selector level to fire, and we are going to just do a test on the poundage here. Six point two pounds, six point two eight pounds, six point six nine pounds. 6.66 pounds, 6.77 pounds, so pretty consistently right around a six and a half pound trigger. That's the, uh, that's the standard stock trigger that came with this rifle setup. Okay, so now what we're gonna do is I've got my tape measure here and we're gonna just, we're gonna check the take up a little bit on this trigger. So I am about an inch and one eighth as the trigger is sitting at rest. As I squeeze the trigger, I'm an inch and a quarter. So at about an inch and a quarter is where the trigger breaks. So I've got just a little bit over an eighth of an inch of break on the trigger. Now if I keep the trigger pulled back, recharge, Back at that inch and a quarter, my reset is almost all the way to the end of one eighth of an inch. So we've got an eighth of an inch of take up and we've got an eighth of an inch of reset. Now I, I, admittedly this trigger actually breaks fairly clean but I have polished it up just a little bit. I haven't done anything major to it, I just cleaned up the burrs and took the grittiness out of it. Do one more check on it. So yeah, we have about an eighth of an inch of take up and then the trigger breaks. It is a pretty solid six and a half pounds of uh, trigger pull on it. Far heavier than I would like it to be. Reset is all the way to the end. Okay, I've got the trigger installed. Let's see how this pulls out now. 3 pounds, 5 ounces. 3 pounds, 6.1 ounces. Alright, let's see what the take up looks like. Once again, I'm right back at an inch and an eighth, so the trigger position didn't change hardly at all. There is no take up it's immediately engaging the sear so immediately right off the bat it's 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 much much crisper and it's much more positive than it was run it again immediate so let's go ahead and let's uh Let's check the reset. I can feel the reset engaged.
reset is back at the end of the trigger travel once again it's an eighth of an inch just like it was on the mill spec but it's very very positive all right so the trigger's installed and at first blush uh, i'm liking it uh, i went from a six pound seven ounce pretty consistently mill spec trigger pull uh, because it is polished up a little bit and i went right down to a three pounds five ounce three pounds six ounce at any rate the trigger is much much nicer than it was before uh, there's no take up whatsoever there is zero take up uh, the reset is actually pretty good i don't see that it improved all that much but i'm very happy with the reset it's very audible it's very positive and i can certainly feel it so at first blush on the bench i'm, I'm liking the trigger so far i think it was worth worth the money that i spent on it that all being said now we just need to take it to the range and shoot it now this rifle typically shooting uh, this federal gold medal match 69 grain ammo uh, I know if I do my part the gun will shoot under an inch uh, I've, I've had groups as good as three quarters of an inch that's of course all if I'm doing my part uh, so I will try very hard to see if I can see if any there's any noticeable improvement I do certainly notice that there is an improvement on the the way the trigger feels so let's see if it helps with my groups at all so we're here at the Red River Regional Marksmanship Center and we're going to go in and try out this trigger. Uh, again, it's kind of windy and it's kind of cold and I'm a wimp and I don't want to sit outside in a cold range. So we're going to go to the indoor rifle range here and we're going to try this trigger out. So let's go down and let's fire the, fire the rifle and see how I like this trigger. So right now I would just like to take a couple of seconds at this time to thank new subscribers Marcos Enya, Michael Hui, Dr. 53 Love, that is quite possibly one of the best usernames I've seen yet and Dave Leach, all new subscribers to the Jack of All Trades channel. Thank you for your support, and I look forward to hearing from you in future videos. I really like that trigger. All right, so we're back in the, from the range. Uh, overall, what do I think of the Rave 140 trigger by Rise Armament? Uh, in a nutshell, I love it. Uh, what do I like about it? I love the price point. It's I don't have to take out a small loan to get a new trigger in my AR. It's got a very good, crisp, clean break. There is zero grit involved. It's no grit. It's got no take up. The reset is solid. It's very audible. It's very tactile. I can feel the reset. Like that about it. It's very well constructed. It's made, it's high quality. Uh, Rise Armament claims that they do a hand inspection of each and every trigger before they go out the door, and I have to believe that because the trigger that I got worked absolutely flawlessly. Love the fact that it comes with the anti-walk pins. That's a that's a added bonus to me. The ease of installation. It was literally a drop in. Now qualify that you will have to remove the safety to get this trigger in but that's not a big deal you just remove the pistol grip and the safety comes out 
Uh, if you've ever done any trigger work on an AR, you won't have any problem with it. There's nothing about this trigger I don't like. I like the fact that it's got no adjustments. It is what it is when you get it out of the box, and what it is is good enough for me. I'm very, very happy with it as it sits. So let's go ahead and wrap this video up. Now, as always, if you're liking what you see here on the Jack of All Trades channel, you'll be doing me a huge favor by hitting that like and subscribe button down below. Make sure you ring that notification bell so you get notified of upcoming videos. And hit me with those comments. And if in the comments you tell me you're a new subscriber, I'll give you a shout out on my next videos. With that, this is Ed from Jack of All Trades. As always, thank you to all of my subscribers. Thank you to everybody who watches my video. And we will see you on the next video.